Hey guys, and today we're going to be doing the Lava Gauntlet. So we have five levels. I've already beaten three of them. So I think we're going to... Unless the coins are easy, which they are an infernal arena. And I'm not sure about Ecor. We're going to do them in practice mode. And Danger Zone will be pretty easy. So we'll probably spend most of the time on Fire Aura. Because it's pretty inconsistent. But it's not that challenging. So we're going to start with Infernal Arena. As you can see here, you can see that... The first coin is in 7%, um, second coin is at 54%, so I need to remember that. And we'll try and get... What? What? Where's the coin? Where is it? It says it's at 7, I don't see... A star. Yeah, I don't see it. But yeah, the Lava Gauntlet is one of the easiest to start off and then. Oh, I saw it. I'm gonna go back and go get that because I saw the coin route. I don't see the first coin. Yeah, I saw a little platform hanging out of the thing in 56, so. for three stars. A little bit challenging for nowadays three stars, but it's not way too bad. Okay, I think for some reason there, it felt like there was a little bit of lag. Old. Shouldn't have a lag. Oh, I saw it! I think they meant that the key was at 17 and not 7 because I just saw a star Sparkle at 17. There we go. That's why I was confused. Okay, please don't die to this. If I do, it's kind of sad. Yeah, but that third coin is what the route when most people would take. I just did that automatically, even though I already had the coin, like... Like that. was the route that most people would take, I think. Okay, there we go. We got two coins on it, so that's fine. Okay, let's do e -core. Is there a coin guide? No. Oh, it says easy three coins. Played it. See if the coins are easy. 
But this level is five star, but it's also really easy. It is like a three star. Oh, I didn't see the yellow orb there. <coughs> the slope was buggy. I think you have to tap before the slope. So that's why I died there. Yeah, but this level is definitely easy for a five star. In the old if I die here. Breakable blocks. Really annoying. <laughs> okay, I died to that. I'm trying to get the coin. And I clicked way too late. Okay, so we got the first coin. Now let's see if I can remember where the second coin is. I don't think it says the many way, right? Yes, okay, did it. Oh. It's not even that challenging. <coughs> oh, okay. I don't know why I died there, that was pretty, but I didn't need to do that. Oh yeah, and if you watched the last call in the video, I kind of raged when I played Prismarine, but then I just beat it like the next day, like in five attempts, so yeah, it's really easy, but for some reason I couldn't beat it. And then I also finished off, I've been playing map pack levels recently to try and get more star coins, so now I'm at 85. I'm trying to do extinction now, and I have a few solid runs. I'm at like 38%, and then I have like 80 to 100, and I can do most of the other parts consistently, so I should be able to beat it soon. So I need to do it in the gauntlet, in the online levels, and then I need to do sidestep in the gauntlet, and then in the online levels, and then I'll have 30 demons. And then I'm doing, I think, a demon called Starquake, because then I finish off another demon <clears throat> map pack. And then I'm going to do B. And then I've also been playing, like, the Death Gauntlet in the... I beat, um... I beat Shuriken and <clears throat> Cool. I keep missing that orb. Um, in the Death Gauntlet. So then I'm going to do Predator, so then I can do a <clears throat> Deuced. For, which is the fourth level in the death gauntlet and then I also beat Odyssey I think and then I still need to do mechanism and then when I'm going for like B and Starquake I'm gonna, be, I'm gonna finish off the magic and monster gauntlet but I'm not sure what gauntlet's gonna be next for our video it might be the bonus gauntlet or the spike gauntlet or the time gauntlet the ones that I have left to do that I have that I've already done. Okay, this is taking too long. Okay, I need to focus now all on this level because I said that this is really easy and it is, but I keep missing the orbs because I'm talking. Lagging. This was like a 2.0 level or 2.1. But it, 
Infernal Arena and E-Core, and they're the first two levels of the They both have the same song, which is E-Core, I think. Oh, it's E-Core, what's the name of the E-Core? And I saw that Infernal Arena was playing that, so. Okay, you need to go up here, right? Yeah. Oh, I missed that coin, whatever. <coughs> what? I clicked there. Okay, now I can know to go get the coin. Yeah, the coins aren't challenging at all. I don't know why I missed them before. From what I remember, I thought one of them was in a really weird <coughs> transition. In, like, one of the tunnels. But it isn't. The coins are ridiculously easy. So I'd say if you want to get like a feel on like spider gameplay and stuff and you're new, then you should start with the Lava Gauntlet because this has some spider gameplay and a little bit of gameplay for every mode. So then it's a good level to get you started if you can't make it far enough in the main levels. Like in, I don't think, I might have, but I don't think I learned about the spider from Finger Dash because I couldn't get like... 50% on finger dash and I was doing the online levels. Okay, that is really annoying, but I guess it's a coin route. I'm like, I, I'm pretty sure I did not learn about the wave from blast processing or any main level. And I'm pretty sure I learned about the UFO from a main level besides theory of everything. Maybe it was Electro Man Adventures. But Okay, this level should not be taking me this long. It's a really easy 5-star. Even by today's standards, this is really easy for a 5-star. And it will probably be rated 4 stars. I think. Or I think it should be. Might still be rated 5 stars. But it's really slow-paced gameplay. It's a little bit challenging, but it's slow-paced, which in most cases means it gets rated lower. Oh, I keep dying to that transition. Oh, why? I'm, I'm not doing a practice run on this. This is a ridiculously easy level. I don't know what that was. That's really weird. But okay, that should have not taken nine minutes to beat. Okay, let's do frontline full. I'm doing this in practice mode because I remember that this level has really bad transitions and I'm pretty sure the coins are challenging, so... Like, all the arrows are really confusing. Beast mode pulls a lot better. Okay, this is not as bad as I remember it to be, but it's, it's not the bad part yet. And what I think is the bad part. Okay, that's annoying. Blind jump. I'm 
That's really tight for a six star. That's annoying. That's a really bad transition. Okay, there is front line full. Let's do Fire Aura. People say this level's bad. It's not that bad, but it's really inconsistent. The gameplay isn't that challenging. Progress. I'm not gonna spend ages on this, but I'll put in like 10 attempts. Maybe even a little bit more because Danger Zone. The really Danger Zone should be a fire. Okay, so for few things to say first, practice the ending because there's a couple fakes. Um, because I died to 86 before, and I that was the worst experience ever, pretty much. Um, the tight flying section and after the ball and like 80 is not is probably the most challenging section. You cannot overclick like at all. And if you die to the mini wave, that's ridiculous. See, it's not even that challenging, but the one thing that really annoyed me when I was playing it, because when I practiced, I, was, I wasn't I was ready for it because I practiced 56 to 100, but the transition into 56 is not good if you click too much, then you die to the gear at the top. If you don't click soon enough, then you die to the gear at the bottom. So let's do danger. And I did this in practice mode because I wanted to be able to beat it quickly as soon as I beat Fire Aura. So that's why.
just like with color Most annoying. That was also my first attempt, so you can see what you took me This will be too easy. I'm gonna treat it like it's a seven star level. Yeah, guys, that was the fire gauntlet, or the lava gauntlet. That was not bad at all. That was, like, one of the shortest, ga shortest gauntlet videos ever. And Fire Aura is not as bad as people say it is. Thanks for watching, and bye. Yeet, 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 yeet.